1 Corinthians chapter 6, then we'll go to Revelation 21, then we'll go to Galatians 5, then the word will go forth properly. Scripture says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom. Go with me now, please, to Revelation chapter 21. We will read verses 7 and 8. Scripture reads in Revelation chapter 21, verse 7 and 8. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5. Jesus is coming soon. He gives us his standard in his word. His standard is no sin at all shall be allowed in his kingdom. Galatians 5. We'll begin reading in verse 19 through verse 21. Scripture declares, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The title of this morning's message is simply, The Unrighteous Shall Not Inherit the Kingdom of God. The Bible declares in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, the Lord Jesus Christ says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of the Father which is in heaven. Christ says, Many will say to him in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied and cast out devils and done many wonderful works in thy name? But Christ says, and then will I profess unto them, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, I never do you. The Bible claims not enough to profess faith in Christ. Because the Bible says in James 2, 19 and 20, you believe us, there's one God, you do well. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead, be alone. It's not enough to say you love Jesus while you sin against Jesus. It's not enough to come to church while you're living against Christ Monday through Saturday, but come in and raise your hands on Sunday. The Bible says Christ is looking for a heart that is pure. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The Bible says the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. In the time we have, we're going to go down some of what these qualifications are for not entering the kingdom of God. You see, nowadays people don't want to preach holiness too much. Amen. Holiness doesn't bring in big 
Cast out of the sight and cast it 